Okay, let's take a look at the uh, the plumbing for this tank. It's very simple, and uh, but uh, understanding how it works helps a little bit. Uh, I don't know what this is, uh, inch and a half or two inch. Uh, uh, threaded nipple going into this connector that comes with the thing, and there's a shutoff valve. You shut this valve off and no water can go through the system or leak out of the tank. Comes down here to a T. Now here's a threaded connector with a cap on it and that is meant for feeding a fire line which doesn't exist yet. T comes over and it necks down to three quarters of an inch. This line goes down and joins the uh, main supply line to the house and the f water can flow through this pipe in two directions. It can drain out of the tank and down to the supply line and into the house by gravity uh, when we close off a valve so it doesn't go back into the well or we turn off the valve that lets it come up here and the pressure from the well goes straight to the house. Now when we want to fill the tank instead of the water going down the line it comes up the line. We shut off the valve to the house and we open the valve to the tank and it comes up through here and this this is the second shut off valve uh, just uh, just in case. Uh, now could we pump the water through here and into the tank from the bottom and up? Yes, absolutely. There's no difference in pressure between doing that and using this line. However, I like to keep this main valve shut when I'm not using drawing water out of the tank for house or fire. I like to keep that shut so there's no possibility of losing that water. If this line down to the house breaks, uh, we could lose all the water from the tank. So I keep that shut unless I'm drawing water out of the tank. I open up this valve and let it come up this way and fill the tank from above. And this is very handy. We don't have a float valve up here to shut off. So this is absolutely the simplest system you can have. When a tank is full, it runs out the top. Of course, you can knock on it. And here, there's a hollow sound. There's a not hollow sound, and that's how you can tell where your water level is. This is marked 200, 400, 600, 800,000 gallons. So that's it in a nutshell. And the other tank that we're going to install uh, is going to have an, an inch and a half or two inch line that connects to this. And uh, this three quarter inch line will also go over there and fill that tank from the top and uh, uh, I guess that's uh, that's it. Very very simple. The whole point here was to do this uh, in the simplest uh, most inexpensive way possible and that ends up also being the most reliable way. Okay let's look at a well with a uh, gravity feed the water tank and a pressure tank for the pump. This is the simplest system that you can have. Everybody has got a well has got a pump. Whatever your pump looks like submersible or not it's going to pump into pressure tank. So there's just a T where it fills in the pressure tank. This has got a bubble of air in it that keeps a constant pressure. So here's a shutoff valve. This will stop the water from the pump. From this is this is supply line to the house. This is the supply line from the gravity tank. This is the supply line from the pump. So if you shut this valve, you isolate the pump from the house. If you open this valve, you allow the gravity water to come down the hill and into the house. If you shut that valve, the water cannot go up the hill or come down. If you want to fill the tank, you shut off the valve to the house. 
and actually you could leave it open if you wanted. You open the valve to the tank and you open the valve to the pump and then instead of the water coming down by gravity the pressure from the pump is pumping it uphill into the tank. So all you have to do to fill the tank really is open this valve. Anytime you shut this valve you're isolating the gravity system from the house and the well. So, that's all there is. Three valves. It's not nothing automatic. You just come out of here and do it yourself and select what you want to have happen. Right now we've got it so that the pressure from the well is going to the house. This valve is closed and blocking it off. If we wanted to fill the tank, we'd open that valve, let the water go up the hill instead of down. If we wanted to draw water from the tank into the house, we'd shut this valve, closing off the tank and the pressure system from the house system, and let the gravity water come and feed the house. So basically, here's a T, and the house can be fed either from the tank or from the well. And the water, the pipe going up to the tank, can send water up the hill to fill it or allow it to go downhill to feed the tank. That is all there is to it. So if you have a well and a pressure tank and no gravity tank, what you're going to do is put a T in here and uh, run your feed line from your tank down to this T and have a means of turning it off and on so that you can decide if you're going to draw from the tank or draw from the well. Simple, simple, simple. And of course, it won't break. <laughs>